Well, those of you that missed my YouTube live yesterday, yeah, it was yesterday, this was my Model Angels um, that I created, which was really fun. Um, and it's on YouTube, so you can catch it if you want to have a go. Hi, Lisa. Um, I really liked how it came out. I just did a little bit more doodling around the edge um, after I came off because it all had to dry a bit. Now, my laptop's really laggy. There we go. Have we caught up? <laughs> Thank you, Ruth. There we go. Right, so... We've, I've been doing a few on YouTube at the moment, so if you want to make sure that you don't miss those two, you need to go over to Fairy Chic Emporium on YouTube and subscribe and hit the notifications and then you'll get notified. But I'm doing every Monday at 2 till 3 and then another one fairly randomly as it fits in with my life. So but I'm, I'm definitely there on the Monday and I'm definitely here on the Thursday. So, if you want to check in on those. So, this is what we're doing today. Now, I have prepared four pages. So, this is the back of that one. And it's all been stuck together. So, there's three layers stuck together. And then I have um, bits of paper all glued all over it yesterday. There's another, um, I think I've actually only put two there, but it, it could have been three. It doesn't really matter. And then another one there and another one there. And I have drawn the two lines here, which I'm now going to cut out, which are going to create our pockets. So I just wanted to show you before I cut. And it's quite stiff because it's had a lot of PVA glue on it. So there's one piece gone. I could probably use that again something else okay so these are going to call be my pockets and I've started very um, briefly some angel cards it's got a little heart that's one that I've done and the others are in prep stage so I can show you and they're going to go in there I might even put some ribbons hanging off there I think actually that probably look nice but they're very much in the same frame as the other ones hi Emma hi Angie hi Charlotte thank you for joining me so I, these are a whole set of affirmation cards that I've got up on YouTube um, you can see how I've made them from scratch um, but I will go through a little bit how I've got to that so this is the, the pocket, and I'm not going to stick the pocket down just yet. We're going to get some colour in. Now, I have got some fairy sheet paints out today. I thought I haven't used them much lately, so I'm so addicted to these crayons. Um, but I'm going to use a bit of both. So this will give me a good starting point. I'm using the lines of the paper that I've already stuck down to even though I know most of this is going to be covered with the images that I've got. If you've just popped on before I got to the sharing bit, hi Sharon, I'd be really grateful if you could share out to a few places. That would be fabulous. I've got another yellow. Um, those of you that haven't watched me before, these are Jane Davenport um, Distress Crayons. It don't have to be Jane Davenport, there's Gelatos and or Tim Holtz to stress they all do the same thing. So you just get what's cheapest. But they are fantastic, you'll see in a minute. So this is me getting my first layer on and as you can see I'm being really quite scribbly. We're going to do some crackle today, some crackle with IOD. stamp some gold leaf so it should be quite cool so 
just using my finger and applying some pressure so I have been quite generous with it if you're too stingy it doesn't spread out enough now I could add water to activate it and that would work too but it dilutes it a lot more and I quite like the strength of the colour certainly for the first layer anyway They are Jane Davenport. They come in sets like this. They look like this. You can get them in, but I got mine in Hobbycraft, so I presume Hobby Lobby or Hobbycraft or the range or somewhere will do them. But you can also get them on Amazon, and it's Jane Davenport. And they are very cool. There are two sets to complete the, the sort of colour range. Two boxes. So just using my finger here to get some blending. Quite like that. It's pretty good. Um, I'm going to use, and I've got quite an old jar of, this is the Fairy Chic Gesso. The gesso, I'm going to use my finger. It's just really cool at... It just tones it down just a bit, but it doesn't, if you see me going over this this writing, it doesn't actually cover it all up. So you can still see bits of the writing through it. So it, it kind of acts as a neutraliser, which is very cool. Okay, so I'm just using it in places. Um, you haven't seen the images yet, which will, when I show you the images, you'll see why I've chosen these colours. So let me show you the images. So I found both of these online. Um, and these are my angels. I love this one. Um, and she is going to go there. And we're going to just, I'm literally going to stick those on. But I need to make her, this one, fit a little bit more with the colours. So I, I really liked the shape. And, the, and I'm just using gesso again here just to dampen. What it will do is one, strengthen the paper, two, dampen out some of the colour that's on it, and three, give me a really good prime for painting on top of, which, because it's just on cheap photocopy paper, it wouldn't be too good to paint on. It will bubble up a lot, so the gesso will help me give it a prime if you like oh these crayons i've been really addicted to them and i've used them for so many things that you see already the tone the color is better and then i can add some of those crayons on top but i'm not losing the drawing of the wings you can still see it so i'll be able to put that back in okay So that's a pretty good start. But I'm gonna just blank out. This is some of her. She, the original picture comes with a quote and it, a poem or something, and she's looking out to sea. Well, the colours didn't go for that, and I didn't want to use the whole picture. So I think those those colours match a bit better now. We've obviously got some brown going on in this one. So again, I'm going to use a brown. Uh, wax crayon to help tie in the colours that we've got. Okay, and I might add some of this to her picture too, once we've got her stuck in place. So I'm going to just use normal PVA glue at this point to stick 
the angel in place so then we can start working on her um, because it's going to take a little while for the glue to sort of go off and there's going to be a natural bubbling up phase of it I can't help that if anybody wants this image of this angel that I've got here um, I believe it's in the painting forum files I've put quite a few images of stuff that I've used before and I've used this image a few times because I really like it I've done image transfer with it before and I contemplated doing image transfer today but I really want to do the gold leaf crackle and I just thought I haven't got time to do both really so I'm gonna just stick that down even though I know I've got a cut along there okay I'll just give it a couple of minutes to sog out my technical term there sog out they are lovely pictures and I have got a bit of a thing about angels um, I said this yesterday when I did my angel models <laughs> I've, I've done a few pages in my journals of angels I like the idea of angels watching over us so I've torn down that edge and torn across that edge because I really don't like hard lines but I've left hard lines around the outside and I'm going to use my craft knife now because it should have got wet enough to come away fairly easily and I'm just following can feel it because it's obviously stuck out this page underneath so it's a little bit fragile but I think this was the best way of getting some positioning in and I don't mind it being a bit raggedy Ann. There we are. It's a bit raggedy Ann. That's cool. Okay, now I need to do the same the other side. More raggedy Ann. I could have stuck it to this page first, couldn't I? Flipped it back and I could have done that, but no. Find the difficult way, Paula. So, very gently. There we go. And I'm quite pleased with that as a general. So now I've, I know exactly where they are. I can now sort of blend in and fill in. So I'm going to use some of this pen, this crayon, to get some more of the brown. Because I want to blend this area between the two as well. And I quite like the idea of making her hair come over as well. And I'm doing this very crudely, but I think that's the point, is that it really doesn't have to be. This works, this method. I just put a bit of glue to get the hair down. Hi Nadine. Yeah, she is gorgeous, This, particularly this one. Um, but I liked her sitting um, on her, you know, with her back to, I thought they went together quite well. Um, so this picture is, I'm sure it's in the painting forum, and if it isn't, I will check after and I'll put it out there and you can print it off. It, it, I've done a sign um, using her uh, angels, an angel sign. And I 
Right, now while I'm messing around, I am going to carry on messing around, but I'm going to get this thing go because it takes a little while to go off. Um, this is a crackle, piece of the crackle stamp from the IOD. And I cut it out. It was obviously a big square. But I found the big square, even when I was doing furniture, quite um, annoying to work with. You didn't want big blocks of it. And quite a few people on the IOD forum had cut out sections. And it will certainly be much better for me um, on this book. So what I've got is, um, there's various brands of this. This is just one I've got. It's Artisan Enhancements Foil Leaf and Foil Size, which is, looks like a white milky substance but it's extremely um sticky and it is extremely difficult to get the lid off when you've i had to i suddenly thought i'm gonna have to do it before we start otherwise it's going to cause me problems so what i'm gonna do is try to painlessly it's probably gonna go everywhere but just tip out a little bit there we are, to the lid of last night's takeaway. And I've got a brayer. Okay, can you see that? And I'm just rollering it, so it's quite runny. And then I'm gonna use the stamp and I'm gonna roller it up. Okay, I'm gonna be quite generous with it. Like that. Move that to one side and I'm going to use the stamp to stamp up little areas on and it's not going to show it's going to be clear but that's okay okay so that's a bit there and just make sure it's gone a bit throffy and I don't know why but it should be okay and I'm gonna tickle a little area there this takes 10 or 15 minutes to to go tacky and um, we want it to be tacky and then we can put the gold leaf on it so I'm just doing a few little areas I don't really know why it's gone bubbly I haven't used this for a little while so hopefully it will still be fine let's look a bit bubbly very strange I'm gonna put a bit there And a bit there. Now I can speed this process up by um, putting the hairdryer on it and that will work but it should be tacky to touch. So I'm going to stop there, I just wanted a little bit here and there and that looks really bubbly. So just get a bit of blue roll. Hi Diane! These aren't like Markers of oil paints, they're water based. Yeah. Oh, don't quite resist. Hope that helps. Right, I'm just tapping that down. I don't know what will happen there. But that's okay. I'm going to leave that like that. So now we can carry on playing with the other bits while that's going off. Um, now I have got a Stabilo pencil. And you can buy them singularly or in sets. I've bought a set of um, 12 because, as I said yesterday, I kind of feel like I worry that it will run out. So I have to buy lots. <laughs> it's crazy. So it looks like a black pencil when you use it. But when you um, add water, it activates it and it turns it into a sort of ink and it's very very cool um so obviously you could just use it as a dark pencil but it's the activation bit that's really clever and i'm going to just use it to we're going to join this hair up Really want to blend that edge in a bit more. Where's my gesso? Gesso, gesso, just here. So this is like, even when you've just stuck two random pictures together, you can join them up. 
and you don't necessarily if you as long as you keep doing it in layers as I am here even notice it afterwards so this is her hair needs her head needs the he head was just cut off at the top there but I can put in an impression of I'm really just using my finger to help blend it all in the gesso is also really good at um, activating these crayons the pencil because it's moisture it can I can literally um, paint with gesso and make a very toned down so if I get a small brush I'll show you a tiny bit of water on it so first of all I'll show you the ink this this stabilo pencil it's called you want Stabilo Black. You can get different colours. Look at that. Now if I go in with my finger, because I don't want it to be a clean line, I want it to be smudgy. There. I'm going to do the same here. I just wanted to show you because some of the work that I do and I'm going to be doing is kind of collage based using images and putting images together but I personally am not happy with images that are just kind of stuck on top of each other I want to make them look like they were actually all part of one image at one point that pleases me in some stupid arty way So that's looking a lot better as a set of wings. Might put a tiny bit of the, the yellow in her in areas that I can see. And I'm using the guidelines of the existing drawing so it's not making it hard for me to I'm trying to avoid where I've put the foil size. So I use my brush and this is using those crayons in a different way. I'm not smudging it with my finger now, I'm watering it down and it turns it into paint. But also if you remember I've got some gesso on here as well which is helping the paper not all bubble up too much. There we are. So, go in with some more gesso on a paintbrush this time. Hi Becky, thank you. I'm on this time every week on my page um, and I'm also on YouTube every Monday at 2 till 3. If you want to catch me there you need to pop over to YouTube channel, get some notifications set up. But I think she's working quite well as I'm going to activate some of that hair that I've pulled over so that it right that's cool now that's not the end of that hair because I'm going to I will use a black pen um, and that will really pull it in. OK. 
okay so I really am just drawing a few strands and it looks like her hair's come all the way across to the other picture so the join is now getting smoother which is what I want so I'm going in with a bit more gesso to tone this wing down it's looking a bit yellow And it's, it's going to be just layer after layer till you get the kind of look that you want. But obviously, feathers are just, you know, oops in that direction. If you use your paintbrush in, this, in the right direction, it, it automatically looks like the feather the impression of works quite well. Now that's the billow that I was on about, my pencil again. I'm going to go around the edge of this pocket with it. I might even go over that line. I'm going to go around the edge of the main page with it as well. A bit more scribbly. So I want it a bit darker. This outlines I am an outliner I make no apologies and this is just made out of um, a normal book that I've bought in the charity shop um, it's got this journal it's got um, stitching to stitch the pages together and that's the important bit but if you want to see how I've prepared it and what you do there's another video on YouTube about and it, you'll see it. it says how to prepare a new journal and it's about taking sections out and then how to prepare your pages so they remain strong this is this is there are different kinds of journals there are journals where you put um, blank cards and things tags in for people to write and fill up you know, like a memory book I suppose and then there are journals like this which are like an expressive art playing um, with different concepts and different ideas but you're kind of the freedom of it is great and I like interactive um, pages I like it when you can pull things in and out and stick beads hanging down and but it, every page is like a different mood or where I was at at the time and I like that and sometimes when I'm stuck artistically I can go back through and get um, ideas so some of the, the journal pages I've got in here are me actually doing pieces of art and drawing myself and some of these are cut out and crafty and some of these are making images that um, already exist if you like hi caroline um work together and create a page so i'm just going to give this a dry off and then hopefully this crackle will do something so i have a collection here of um foils um, i think that's probably the best color and these are great. I hope you can see that this has already been used lots of times. There's lots of scratchiness. Um, and look, when you roll the sheet out, you can see through where it's been used. But there's still lots of areas that have got gold on that can still be used. So what I do is I rub it over the sticky area that I put that foil size. And I'm just using my nail, the side of my nail, to press it into it. And then, oh, that is, I'm going to hold that up close to you because it's just so beautiful. Can you see the effect that that's, that's made? And it hasn't necessarily picked up the crackle. I think it's because it was a bit bubbly. 
I'm going to go over the other spots and I might have to put some more on because it just looks so nice. And the lovely thing about this paper is it's not like the gold leaf that you buy in packets that, that goes absolutely everywhere. Um, and I've used that several times as well and it works in exactly the same way. You can put that on top of foil size. It's just messy. And this is just beautiful. you again hopefully that's focusing that better I need to take a proper good picture back up here it's lovely as well it's really pinging out the um, Now this is Artisan Enhancements for you can also get primary design foils, they're quite cheap. Um, and they do the same thing. I can't remember, I don't think I put anything there. Oh, maybe I did. And that's it, if you miss an area, you can just go back in and rub it. The sticky bits, you can feel with your finger where it's sticky. I really, really like that. I'm going to roll a, a little bit more just because it's so lovely. Um, what do I do? My stamp. There it is. So again, this is the Crackle Crackler stamp from IOD. I think it's, it is particularly brilliant for this technique. Um, I've done it with the marble... Um, stamp as well and it looks fantastic so I'm just a roll of fo roll yeah roller the foil size on put a big bit there I'm gonna put a bit around her body here and then let it just go off go sticky I'm going to put a bit more up as well. Yeah. You can buy the, the gold that I've got is, as I say, Artist Enhancements. And you can buy that, I think it's a pound a foot. And it comes in lots of different colours. And you can literally, um, you could put any stamp with it. Or you could use a little paintbrush and paint an edge um, or the trim of furniture um you know whatever you were doing you could even write your signature if you wanted to really push the boat out with a paintbrush in the foil size wait for it to go off and then put the um foil over the top and that would look really cool i think right i'm going to just do some quick drying let's try so that really was only a minute or so with the with the, that's a heat gun not a hair dryer not sure how much actually came off there just it's still so pretty because that was oh. oh guys i've done this on furniture um too and i've done this on the hardware it works on the hardware too Oh, 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 sticking to my foil size here. Let's move that to one side. And it just looks stunning. As you can see, one sheet goes a long way, even though you might think this kind of looks like it was had its day. It totally hasn't. up 
so much more than like a gold wax would. I have got the gold wax, but fold that up afterwards. But these are the sort of colours that you can get. Look, I've even got peacock turquoise colour, and I've done a peacock piece of furniture in that. But there's a gorgeous blue. There's obviously silver. Um, looks like I've got a well-used bit of silver there. Gold. I've got a kind of copper. But there's titanium. There's, there's lots of different colours. So I'll see if I, you can see that at all. Thank you, Angie. Thank you, Louise. Can you see a little? It's really, really lovely. It's really brought it together. So now I'm going to do some um, doodling. Doodling. I'm going to actually, I'm going to get some ink on first. I've got a Distress Oxide. It's a brown one. Uh, what's it called? Gathered twigs. But I think brown would kind of work better because of the original colours. So I'm just ageing up the pages a bit with this oxide ink. You've got a bit of time with these oxide inks to use your finger and blend and smudge a bit. are really starting to tie in together now and hopefully with a bit more when I've got my I've got fine line black but I'm hoping some of these have given up the ghost a bit and I keep meaning to throw them out and then I tidy up at the end and chuck them all back in yeah this is a very thin black fine line it doesn't smudge um, it's quite good for the thin black lines that you want I've also obviously got paint Posca pen um, that's you can get quite fine Posca pens but mine's quite fat um, so I use that for my thicker black lines but this is what I use to separate those strands of hair or sections of the hair should I say because I'm not drawing in every hair by any means but already that hair looks like it's part of the original picture and of course we both know it's not at all i've drawn that in so that's totally worked okay and i do a little bit on her feathers just to again just using this fine the, I can still see from the painting, the original drawing or picture that I printed, the shapes of the feathers. So I'm just not doing all of them. I think that would look too much, but I'm doing some of them to add the impression of so that your, your eye will naturally make up the difference, if you like. Our eye lets us see what, it's quite incredible what our eyes will fill in if it's missing. And they do. And sometimes I think less is more. And if you put the subtle, just a bit in, just a suggestion, your, your mind settles much happier with it than a real in your face, every feather marked that makes your eye sort of pause and go Ooh, what's that that's all a lot of noise we don't want noise we want some subtle now there's some in this original image is more suggestion of her wings and it's very subtle so i'm just gonna relive them with this pen again and they're here as well just and if they go up here Just emphasising some of the black areas on her, the, the dark layer, so she pops out equally. Quite like that. 
now I've got this white Tosca pen. I'm going to put some highlights in her hair. There she is, she's beautiful. So they're just suggestions again. I like it's enough. Good morning, Rima. Hi, Louise. Glad you like it. We're having some fun blending two pictures in together. And I've used some crackle glaze. Crackle, no, a crackle stamp even. With some foil size. And I need to glue this down because it hasn't been glued down yet. This is my false pocket, so I only need to glue it here and along the edge. That'll be just fine. So I've got these little clips and I'm just going to clip that there just to hold it together. When it dries, and we'll do the same on this side. So, for those of you that have just joined, you can see underneath what the page started as, and I haven't coloured it in because it's a waste, it's going to be in the pocket. There we go. So, put another clip there. And that should just keep it in place while that dries. I'm really quite liking that. I've got my grey stays on. I know you have used a lot of brown, but I'm just going to put a little bit of dark. I think that's a really pretty page. I've got my little cards that are going to fit in here um, and I've got a little heart stamp on so we can work on some of these cards. Again, it was just a printout. I put in angel wings or something and found this little image and I've stuck it onto cardboard so it is raised and stuck it on to, this is um, a playing card that I have literally just covered in excess paper to, to it's made it stronger and then I've stuck that down so and I've put a bit of gesso over it because the original was quite blue um, and I might it might actually look nice with some of that gold in it as well I had a sort of play before um, and it was quite I did it quite black and white and I didn't like it so my figure will go straight to the yellow this time and I've used white gesso here to fill in I should put this book to one side thank you guys glad you're liking so I'll go back to my um Stabilo pencil, wherever I've put it. And I put a little bit of drawing just here to darken up. And then round the edge. So if we use this as our guide, and I've put a bit in here too. Then I've definitely gone in all around the edge. I think I'll use 
just a little bit of grey um, Jane Davenport crayon so we get that out. It looks grey there to me. So I'll put a bit in there and a bit in there. Let's see what happens when we activate. So water. turn that paint turn that marker into paint and that stabilo into a kind of looking black ink it's just gorgeous okay so i'm going to blend it all in brush remember we did just a little bit in a hair so I've got to be careful you don't want that to go everywhere just darkens it up a bit I think that's quite good it needs a bit more of the gesso here And we'll put a bit of gesso in the wing. Okay, quick blast with a dryer. Yeah, these are distress markers. I think they're called just Jane Davenport um, markers, um, but they are like distress crayons, really. I would say and you could get different brands of the same thing and um, gelato and tim holtz do do them too so i've done again kind of suggestions of wings you don't have to be a fantastic artist to it's shapes. This is just like a load of M's. You've just got to make sure before you use these pens, and it's probably not as dry as it could be, that the layers below are dry because you don't want to ruin your pens and you don't want them and you want it to show. A little bit darker there and darker along this edge I'm just using water on my finger to activate that pencil it's so bold So you can see that the white probably doesn't show as much as it does on the one below um, and that's because it's not dry enough really but we're going to go with it so again I've done pencil around the outside on my finger it's just clear water it's nothing special okay now I'm gonna put a little bit of the color a little bit of I've got a bit of black on my finger so I've made it a bit muddy but it's okay. 